Hey guys. Well, I had one person mention it yesterday. So I thought, eh, what the heck. Let's do a hatchling update. So here we are. Uh, basically, we're just going to go through the routine of what I do on a daily basis. As you can see, I'm taking out these little things here. Um, when I first got this, this is a V18 Vision hatchling rack. And when I first got it, it came with uh, front name tags, which also dubbed as uh, front stops. Well, guess what I lost? Yeah, the front stops. So, being a dipshit, I had to come up with some other method of keeping these drawers from sliding open and having a snake escape. So, that is the reason for all of those. Now, just to let you know, I learned that the hard way. Two of my 24 managed to slide the drawer out ever so swiftly to about that much and crawled out. So, um, at first I was really upset at Vision for uh, making such, I mean, you can see down here, the ones at top, and there are several, this is actually one of the drawers that one of them got out. You can see, I mean, it just comes out super easy. And uh, at first I was a little ticked off at Vision, but then I realized that it's my fault for losing the front stops. So Vision, you are redeemed. And I will, again, be ordering two more of these racks for this upcoming season. Anyway, back to the hatchling. You can see I have pretty much everything set up. And I'm going to go ahead and give you a look at how these little guys are doing. This is the very first one to come out of the egg. And he is feisty as hell. So, we're gonna go ahead and change out his water. Now, he hasn't pooped or anything, uh, hasn't peed, so I'm not gonna go ahead and screw everything. I change it pretty much every day. All right, little man, you ready to go in or are you gonna bite me first? Having the dog close by doesn't help. All right. Let me go back in. He is actually a super cool little golden child. I think he might have some tiger in him as well. Um, as most of you know, the, the tigers in the golden child are a little bit harder to... <laughs> I see you harder to tell so I have reached out to several people to see if there was a definite way to tell and it's just a matter of checking for stripes checking for the rosettes look dude you're gonna have to let me go man because we have 22 others that need to be shown come on Yes. Get in there. Alright, now go. Ugh. That's why it takes a long time. Alright, number two to come out of the egg is this little guy. I'm going to go ahead and do it this way because you're still pretty clean. As you can see, it's just a little normal and uh, also very feisty. For the most part, 
Uh, all of my hatchlings, I go ahead and hook train from day one. Uh, I see a lot of people, you know, they go ahead with their hand flat to where, you know, it can't get the bite of the hatchling and, uh, and take them out that way. But as we all know, the importance of hook training, especially on retics, I mean, it's important all the way through their life. Now I'll show you the method. They come straight down like this. He just bit and then you can grab them. Now I like that way too, um, but for the most part, if hook training is going to be something that you will practice in your regiment, why not start them out that way? Uh, for the most part, the first week, all of them were snapping at the, at the hook and they eventually figured out that, okay, well, this guy is scratching me up with the hook, they're, they're not gonna bite as much. But let me show you on this guy. I'm not sure if you can see it. Let me see on the camera. You can see those side flames where it's just dark. Guys, this is a beautiful golden child. I love the darkened patterns on those. So, getting back to the training aspect of them. I mean, you saw there, if you're going to reach in on a hatchling, flatten your hand out. And that way, if it does strike, it's, it's not going to be able to actually get, get on anything. So... It's a much better method. Isn't that right? All right, let's put you back. There we go. Right. And if anybody has ever dealt with the hatchlings before, you know, <laughs> trick you, that they're going to go every direction that you don't want them to go. Then you get like this little bastard spills his water every single time this is why it is important to check these every day so this one here you'll notice that that side darkening pattern is all the way down it's not actually just in the flames another gorgeous golden child all right so Probably you are starting to see why I am set up the way I am. Garbage can on one side. Um, and of course, I'm always forgetting something. Stand by. Always forget something. You're a cute little guy. All right, do you want to keep you some paper towels for this? purpose. Now, notice I'm using my fatness to hold one end of the tub as I'm holding this little guy. Actually, yeah, this little guy. So, put it back on the trash, put that there. Pre-cut all of your newspapers. Basically, Get you a bunch of newspapers, stack them up, put it down on, put the tub down on the newspaper. Take your handy dandy knife right there, outline it, and you got a whole stack of pre-cut newspaper that you'll want to have close by. All right, so we grabbed you with the wrong hand. Put the water back in there. And we'll see if you want to go in easy or are you going to be a pain in the butt too? Uh, you're going to be a good boy. Somewhat. Somewhat. Like I said, they're going to go every direction that you don't want them to go. Oh, yeah. All right. So that was four. Um, here. Notice how easy that pulled out. So guess what? Empty tub. 
Now, unfortunately, these things are impossible to find. It just takes a crack this far. I've looked and I've looked and I've looked. Could not find it anywhere. All right, we're not going to change you out, but there again, another beautiful golden child with the darkened shadow flames on the side. Yes. Now, I have had several ask me about uh, golden child on golden child breeding. You get what's called a super golden child, and for the most part, you have a neurological disorder called the wobbles. Now, let me show you an example of what that looks like. Now, this guy is, you can see, it is a golden child. Uh, it appears to be a super due to the darker coloration. But as you can tell, I'm not sure if he's going to do it or not. It's not really severe, but their head will just kind of do this right here. And it's, it's really sad. Uh, unfortunately, this one is showing no signs of wanting to eat. Uh, I am going to try to force feed it a couple of times and see what we come up with. But uh, he does have a pretty substantial wobble once he gets to go in here a little bit. He's trying to focus in on me right now to uh, possibly latch on, but uh, he's still really cute. The Super Golden Childs uh, are typically much darker, and uh, I know we're going to get you all fired up. You're probably going to snap at me. Uh, you can see a little bit of it right there. When he does get real fired up, he just he can't control his head very well. Even now when he's striking at food, he's missing by like three inches. And uh, it is a shame, uh, but that is the risk that you take with golden childs and also with jaguars. Uh, they are the same exact way. They'll have the neurological disorder with them as well called the wobbles. Come on, big boy. See a little bit of it. Like I say, he's not real bad, and I think I might be able to get him to feed a little bit. But uh, only time will tell. He doesn't have a whole lot of strength in him, so it's kind of hard to say. Now, with that said, uh, this guy right here, he appears to be, I see you, yes, that is classic, yes, I see you, yes, sir, come here, all right, this too is also a possible uh, super golden, much darker, almost uh, like the Motley Golden Childs. The only way that you can honestly see if you have a Super Golden Child is it has to be proven out during breeding. So keep that in mind. I'll give you a close-up of him. His head stamp is absolutely awesome if it'll focus. But... As you can see, much darker. It does have the classic iridescence, kind of like the Motley Golden as well. And just a beautiful snake. So, just remember, if you, if you see somebody advertising they have a Super Golden and it doesn't have wobbles, that person, and along with me, I mean, I'm advertising these as possibly super golden. You cannot tell unless it proves out in breeding. So keep that in mind if you're ever to buy a super golden child. 
Now he did poop in here a little bit, which is a promising sign. All right. The reason I went with Golden Childs for this season, I absolutely love the Golden Child gene, and it is absolutely remarkable the difference in a lot of these uh, just standard Golden Childs. Uh, even just a regular Golden Child has got a lot of difference in it. So I know you want a piece of me so bad you can't stand it, don't you? Well, you're just going to have to wait. Yes. Now that I got you going somewhere, let's put you right there. There we go. And my other possible, yeah, I spilled a little bit of his water as well. Yep, you have. Let's dump that. And we'll get in a little bit more. Good there, big boy. Now, you notice the difference. When I took that little hook, that's letting them know, okay, uh, I know the deal here. And it's good to be consistent with that. And as they grow older, it just amounts to, okay, I got a little rub on the neck with a, with a hook. I know I'm getting handled. I'm not getting fed. And it makes a world of difference. So if you're not hook training, I highly recommend that you start. Again, let's use the fat that God has given me. Kind of help with the one-handed chore here. For the most part, they're just beautiful animals. You can see the, the darkness on him. Now, if it were just that trait that would be a super golden, then what in the world would a motley golden be? Let me see if I can get a close-up of this dude's head. Just beautiful. The iridescence on the Golden Childs is pretty much bar none. I, I love it. Now, next season, I am going into branching out a little bit from, instead of Golden Childs, we're going to be doing genetic stripes, uh, platinum genetic stripes. And also we're going to be doing some of the Phantom line. Uh, we're hoping to get some Platinum Phantom Albino Golden Childs. That is actually in the works this year. And so I'm super excited about that. I'm going to show you one more. I'm not going to bore you with... Actually, I'm going to show you two more. Here is another little normal from that clutch. I don't know about y'all, but I love the normals. They, uh, they got a great, I know you, you just, you gotta chill out a little bit, dude. Yes. They have got great colorization. Look at the flames on the side. You see they're a dark charcoal color. For a normal, man, it's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. But who's to say? Uh, I'm, I, I say that about every retake that I see. So I guess it doesn't matter. But if any of y'all are like me, uh, I like the normals just as much as I like the Golden Childs or the Phantoms or the Genetic Stripes or any of them. They are all just beautiful snakes. Where are you going? As you can see, they've got uh, some pretty good life in them for being uh, just a couple of weeks out of the egg. Actually, a little more than that, I believe. Now, the one I'm going to show you next, and be the last one I'll show you. You have done a spectacular job. He's peed all night last night. Now, this guy here is the one I was referring to yesterday. He has had four, or she, I'm sorry, it is a female. 
look at the sides that dark shadowing where that flame normally is awesome but this one here has had her four meals she has shed twice for the most part she is super docile I've been working with this one quite a bit because she is ready to go now unfortunately I had a local breeder that was interested in her so uh, uh, I'm sorry but he kind of got uh, first grabs at her but don't worry I got plenty more and they will all be just as good if not better than this one right here so fear not actually I'm gonna go ahead and replace his cup with a little bit better one you did so good yes uh oh guess what time it is guys it's time to use the fat alright so I hope you enjoyed the update on the hatchlings getting to see a few of them and uh, maybe learning a little bit about the golden child trait of course with the wobbles the neurological disorder um, pretty much what it takes to take care of these little guys if you guys have any questions as to you know what else I have to do for the upkeep or whatever but uh, for the most part can't ask for any more fun than this now this one here believe it or not he likes to or she once uh, I get her go she's not gonna do it today of course but she likes to come back out and try me a little bit but she's doing very well she's doing much better than even last week she's much better than she was then uh, Let's go ahead and show you another dumbass that likes to spill her water. Don't you? Dummy. Flat hand. Take it down over. Pick him up. That is the key. Ain't that right? Now, talk about differences. This is a golden child tiger. You can see the rosettes are a little bit longer. There is actually a stripe down the back. That right there, somewhat difficult in the golden child line to determine, but uh, the rosettes play a big key in the identification of a tiger. So that one there just made it a little bit easier on me. Now imagine every single day you put in a good eh, 10, 12 hour day at your normal job after getting up at 4.30 and making sure that everybody has clean water, making sure that nobody has pooped or shed or you know, making sure everybody's enclosures are clean. And then after a long day of that, you come home and have to do this mess. I'm here to tell you, I don't mind at all. These guys are great to work with. That is a beautiful example of a golden child tiger. I shouldn't even put water in your cage. No, you keep spilling it. Not. Put her in there and let her get warm back up. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and check the rest of these guys. Uh, hope you enjoyed this little update and noticing the difference in some of the golden childs. If you haven't noticed, every golden child I have here, whether it's a straight golden child, all of your 
just straight up golden childs. They all have a different pattern to them. That's one of the things I was really looking for with this clutch. And uh, by all means, I mean, I, I really think I got it. So uh, very happy with this clutch. Uh, I'm hoping to get uh, a lot more of them eating. As of right now, I've only got seven that are eating. One of them has been doing phenomenally in far, as far as eating, so he's, she is ready to go. But uh, I'd like to say in about two weeks, we should be ready. Uh, keep in mind that I will not let any of these babies go until they have had at least four meals and two sheds. And uh, for the most part, I know I can just reach in and grab them. Uh, I will implement the hook training at that point. Uh, so if any of y'all do get a snake from me, know that the hook training is going to be a crucial part in the snake's life throughout the entire growth of the snake itself. Um, if you guys have any questions or comments, please drop them in the comments below. Uh, give me a like and tell your friends. Let's get the subscribers up a little bit. And uh, two days in a row, guys, with a video. It's got to mean something, even though I went a month without it. Sorry. Hope you guys have a great day and uh, hope you have a great weekend. Don't drink and drive and we'll talk to you very soon. See ya.